Hello, so today I'm off to explore and I'm going to go out and try to find this used bookstore. Where I live, I, I haven't seen very many used bookstores around. When I live in the city, you know, there's really nice ones scattered throughout where I can go and get uh, inexpensive books. I was at my boyfriend's recently and his mom had a very nice selection in her library of, she had this really old copy of Pride and Prejudice. It was a hardcover, it was red, it has really nice gold detailing on the cover and it just really looked really nice. So I'm gonna be looking for that today. And I actually really want to get a copy of Outlander. Sometimes it's really hard to find newer books at used bookstores, but I'm gonna go and see what they have and check it out. Look what I got though. So Indigo had these like really cute tote bags all summer and they finally went on sale. How cute is that? I love that. There was also one that said I read past my bedtime, but I do like big books and I can't all lie. I hate going out with my phone dead, but I don't have very much time this morning. I'm just gonna go and explore. I'm actually not even sure where this place is. It's a very small town, so the, there's like one corner. My mom said I would pretty much be able to see it. <laughs> People didn't have phones back in the day, so I don't know. We're just gonna drive and see where it takes us. I made it here, it literally was like, this cutesy little town just a little bit north of where I live and it's kind of like the downtown of a small town. It's so cute. Except for I hate trying to find parking in a place I've never been before. Like it's an absolute nightmare. It's like you're driving all these side streets and it's like, okay, I can park here from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday. I'm like, it's Saturday. So I'm just at the back of store now, but I'm gonna go in. Oh, he's eating something. Yeah. I say goodbye before I go. So I just got into the store. It was really cute, really charming. I love little bookstores like that. They've been open since 1995. I think that was the owner. It was very nice. And uh, oh, I like big books and I cannot lie. I bought two huge books. They actually didn't have the first book in the Outlander series, which kind of sucks because now I can't start reading it. So they ended up having um, these two. Oh, they're really heavy. These are really popular novels, especially now that the fourth season is coming out in November. So I just picked them up because they might not be there next time I come by. One of the things I hate though is that I saw two books in there that I bought this summer for full price because I was just impatient and I really wanted to read them and I bought them full price. And she had a copy of the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society in there for $6 and I bought it for way too much. I bought it for like $23. It's always worth it to just look around but sometimes you just get impatient and you really want to read a book so you go and you buy it full price. I'm gonna bring a bunch of my old books here that are still in good condition and hopefully I'll get some credits towards new books in the future. Okay I just filmed this entire video and my microphone was not on. <laughs> So I have to do this all again and my battery's dying so I'm going to do this really quickly. Today I'm getting rid of a bunch of novels that I've just carried around with me for years. These books that I'm getting rid of you're probably going to be like oh my god why these are amazing. I've heard so many good things about this series but unfortunately I just 
can't get into them right now and the Mortal Instruments series along with this book sorry but they have to go I've watched the movie and I have no real feeling that I need to read this book so bye next book I have is the first novel in the Percy Jackson series this was a highly recommended series and I just don't really have an interest in reading it at the moment. So I have no luxury of space to keep books that I'm not going to read. The first two novels in the Divergent series, I have no idea where my Allegiant book went. I think once I read the ending and we all know what happens there, I probably just got so angry and threw it off my balcony and... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. I think I lent this series to my sister and I think she might have the third novel. I read this in the winter of 2014, I think. I would read it every day on the bus back and forth from school and in Canada we can get some pretty dreary winters here. So I just remember enjoying this book so much. Just the Divergent book. The rest of the series is okay. I've been carrying these around since elementary school. The first one is Inkheart, the second is Dragon Rider, and the third is the Kingdom Keepers. I've been carrying them around because they have sentimental value. These were the first fantasy novels that I really enjoyed when I was younger. That's why I've kept them. My best friend recommended this to me in grade 7 and it used to be her favorite novels. My light turned off. Okay, <laughs> I needed to turn the light back on. But I think it's time to move on from these novels. My car is blitzing right now. Next book is Anna and the French Kiss. Honestly, I cannot remember what even happens in this book. That's how unmemorable it was. I think I just picked it up at a time that I wasn't really interested in contemporaries, but people were saying a lot of good things about it. It was quite unmemorable, so I'm just going to get rid of it today. The next book is the first book in the Vampire Academy series. Also a series I'm not going to read, so... See you later. In order to get out of my book slump, I have to go for books that I'm interested in in, the very, in this very moment. I can't buy things that people have recommended to me and just keep it on my shelf until I one day, hopefully, magically, feel like I will be interested in reading it because clearly that's not working. I know that this is probably a fantastic novel, but for now, I just can't seem to get into it. Goodbye. I think that's all I have to get rid of today. It's going to feel nice to finally purge books that I've had forever and that are just taking space on my shelf. I found that this method has really been working to get me out of my reading slump. I've been in a reading slump for, I would say, over a year now, and I think it's because before I just didn't have a sense of really what I liked to read. I would look up online, ratings of different books, and I really ended up picking, picking up books that people were talking about where there was a lot of hype because if there's a lot of hype around a book there was more of a chance that I felt that I was going to enjoy it but now that I've been reading more and more over the past four years I've developed a sense of what I like to read this summer has been the summer of contemporaries for me I've read many lovely contemporaries and once we start to get more into fall and winter I have a feeling that I kind of want to get into more of a series possibly a fantasy series. I have mentioned that I'm interested in reading the Outlander novels. I was in Ireland earlier this year and I had a lot of fun researching the origins of my last name, Cunningham. Cunningham actually comes from Scotland, Scottish settlers in Northern Ireland. So I'm actually hoping to go to Scotland next year. I just want to be in the Outlander world. I love the TV show. The fourth season is coming out in November, so I just want to get back into that world.